Everything just goes away. You have no, no more worries, no more concerns. You're just completely free. For Shannon Malloy, this is his happy place, riding on his Harley Davidson freewheeler. He says the view is always spectacular. There's just nothing like being able to just to, to experience um, the Mojave Desert, the Red Rocks of Utah, the Rocky Mountains on a motorcycle, just to be there uh, and see the country. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's better than, than any medication the VA can give us. <laughs> it just, everything goes away. You're just, it's you, the motorcycle and the wind. It's just, it's just magical. Malloy and his riding buddy Adam Hilbert are members of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association, an organization that helps raise much needed funds for veterans. Whether it be doing clothing drives, working at a homeless shelter for vets. Whether it's um, providing blankets for homeless, uh, providing support for people who might be uh, prone to suicide. They say suicide prevention is a mission that's close to their hearts. There are a lot of uh, veterans who are left behind. Um, most veterans, though, would never say that they think that people need to do more. You know, we, we chose to serve. That was our decision. Uh, it was our privilege or our pleasure to serve and defend our freedom. Um, but with that being said, yeah, there, there are veterans who are out there who are just falling through the cracks, whether it's suicide, uh, whether it's homelessness. I mean, homelessness is a, a huge factor, uh, particularly around Vietnam veterans. Beyond fundraising and their need for speed, all of the veterans in this organization have another thing in common. They've all been deployed overseas and have been in combat. They've seen and experienced things that few people can relate to. I've deployed three times to Iraq and twice to Afghanistan. No one else can understand what it's like to have been in a combat zone um, unless you've been there. So that's that's the big thing. I mean, it's they're your brothers and sisters, it's your family. I've been in that spot where it, it is hard to adjust when you come home. Um, you miss the camaraderie. Uh, and you share, you share a bond with those people that have been in your shoes before. So, and it's easier to, you know, sit down and talk about maybe some of the issues you have. And by talking, writing, and fundraising, they hope other veterans know they're not alone. It's not easy asking for help. I know it's, it sucks, but you got to throw that hand out there and someone's willing to help you. Whether it's the VFW, the American Legion, there there's organizations out there and they're willing and ready to, to bring you in and give you a hug and support you. I'm Nancy Yamada for State Circle.